initial thoughts on Stanford? Um, they're, they got some guys, like every, every team does. Um, you know, up front, they're big, and uh, they, they like to control the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, their back end's good. They got guys that can really make plays back there. So, you know, again, it's one of those deals we got to continue to just focus on what we got to do, and um, hopefully we're able to kind of just get off the ball and just get things going. How much have you watched last year's game film at this point now and been able to pick up things that they did that really slowed you guys down? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, you kind of look at uh, last year's game and then, you know, you got to combine that with, uh, you know, the, the film from this year. And, um, you know, obviously they're going to have a little different tendencies this year. But, um, you know, it's, for us, we just got to make sure that, you know, we understand what our assignments are and we should be okay. What can you guys fix from last season? Um, for the, for one one thing, for me especially, was take care of the ball through interception right before half. Um, and just, you know, go out there and play. I think, you know, a lot of times we were hesitating a little bit. Um, we weren't sure some of the fronts that we were seeing. Um, that stuff we, we're really going to have to clean up and um, hopefully just, you know, come out you know, and, and execute. You started 21 games here, the 21. That game sticks out like a sore thumb amongst other Not only because you lost, but because you guys scored 14 points, but you, you averaged like 50. Mm -hmm. What were they doing specifically? Was it more them or was it more you guys? Um, it was a combination of both. You know, they they had a good team, defensive team last year. They're a good this year as well. Um, but last year, a lot of times we were we were really hesitant on on what we were seeing. And um, you know, if we really just focus on you know our assignments, you know, and make sure we understand that you know we we got to focus on our keys, then you know eventually we'll be okay. Um, we just got to make sure we execute out there. How much does that loss bother you? It bothered me for a couple of days, but um, you know, last year right before because it was going, we, it was leading into Oregon State. Okay. And um, the older guys, really like Deion Jordan and Michael Clay, really just kind of helped me flush it out. Um, you know, they, they said it's it's one game, you got to focus on the next one. And I was able to just kind of come back that Monday and, and uh, just focus on what I had to do for the rest of the week. Did that experience make you better? Uh, definitely. Experience um, failure? Yes. And, um, you know, it, you, you kind of, when you experience it, um, it helps you not fear it. And, um, you know, there's a lot of times when you go out there and you feel failure, and that's not the way you should play football. And uh, I think getting that out of my system, being able to kind of go through that really just kind of helped me this year. Kind of along that same line, Marcus, so you'll know Stanford a bit better this year to give you a bit more, uh, I guess, intuition of what they're going to do. Right. And, um, you know, especially going through last year, having having playing them, and um, obviously it's going to give us a little more confidence. Uh, it's another year that, you know, we were able to kind of be together as, a, as an offensive unit. So, you know, again, it's it's – just got to go out there and execute. Um, it's, it's, it's really, it's honestly as simple as that. We just got to go out there and focus on what we have to do and, and make sure we execute it to the best of our abilities. Marcus, how have you seen Alejandro handle failure? He's, he's been a, an awesome sport about it, you know, and I think he's, he's really learned and grown from it. Um, a lot of times, uh, especially with people, uh, you know, especially with what he's had to experience, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a token to his character. I think a lot of people would, um, kind of dig a hole and, and try to hide, but he really just kind of approached it, uh, stood tall and stood firm, and, and really has just, you know, be, become a better person for me. Do you interact with him like on a game week or even during a game, or do you allow Kicker to to hang by himself? I, you know, he's 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 a pretty uh, social guy, so he he'll come around and he'll talk story with any, anybody really. So, um, you know, I think he he likes to do his his own thing, but I think he's a pretty social guy enough to the point where. You know, he likes to hang out with a lot of the guys. So. Marcus, lot you, you, like everyone else, refer to faceless opponents, but you've also talked about how much of a competitor you are. Mm -hmm. You take people to FIFA, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it's called. <laughs> so given the fact this is the only team that's ever beaten you, it ha this has to be more than just a faceless opponent, right? It, it can't. It can't be more than a faceless because it's gonna, that takes away from what we've developed and what we've built here. And, um, you know, I'm just going to approach it just like any other game. Um, you know, it's been successful for us. And, uh, if I try to press and try to do too much, you know that's going to get us out of our out of our rhythm. So, you know, I'm just going to focus like how I have been and um, you know, just take care of the ball. Is there a chip on your shoulder though? Um, I, w I mean, I guess so. Yeah, um, it's 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 hard to say that there's not a chip on my shoulder, but you know, it's I can't let that get in get in front of what we have as a team goal. And um, you know, I'm gonna put that aside and, and just focus on what I got to do. But there has to be a heightened awareness based on what this game ultimately means. 
it's just another game for us. And we're going to go out there like, like we always do every week. Um, it was a good question. Um, <laughs> but we're trying. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we're trying. It's okay. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to approach it just like any other week. Um, you know, today was our Monday, and um, that's, that's all we focused on. Have you thought about a career in politics after you're done playing? No, not at all. <laughs> I know you've talked a lot about the ball being your ally, but it, does it even surprise you that you haven't thrown an interception since that one you are talking about against Stanford last year? I don't know. I haven't really honestly thought about it. Um, you know, I, I just try my best to to make sure that we finish with the ball. Um, you know, and it's it's really just a, a combination of different efforts. I mean, the coaches have really harped on us throughout. I mean, every single week, it's always take care of the ball, take care of the ball, and um, it's been no different. And I think just to be able to have that, um, it becomes second nature, really. And um, hopefully, I can continue to, to uh, be well with the ball. Are you superstitious at all? Do you not want to talk about stuff like that because you don't want to jinx it? No, not at all. I, I mean, I have I have several superstitions, but that's just for myself. I mean, other stuff I really don't care. We can we can talk about all all we want. <laughs> what are your superstitions? Um, I usually try to call my mom or hang out with my my. I mean, if they come in town, uh, my parents before a game, I make sure I got to call her or call my dad just to get uh, that and just to listen to them talk. You know, they kind of really relax me, and then. Um, uh, I have one kind of weird one is I always put my left shoe on before my right. Um, my buddy back home always told me to do that, so I, I kind of always have done that. <coughs> what, I noticed are that you the, a sock uh, shoe guy or a sock, sock, shoe, shoe? It has to be sock, sock, shoe, shoe. <laughs> and it has to be the left sock, right sock, left shoe, right shoe. <laughs> Did you ever ask him why he didn't do that? No, but um, it, seems, it seems to work, so I'm not going to fade away from it at all. <laughs> I noticed that this year uh, on, on your face mask, it looks like an 808 to me. Is that is there anything to that, or is it just the way it looks? Actually, there is a little. It is 808. That's some that um, you know, the uh, some some people represented with Riddell were able to do, um, and it was pretty cool. It's awesome. It, it means a lot to me, um, you know, to be able to represent where I come from uh, on my face mask.